The timing is the one thing. Once you get the timing down, then you can do some damage there. And that's the hardest part because most people have a pretty good working knowledge of categories, uh, certainly in sports with Sports Jeopardy. But but I hope we're uh, going to continue to do more Sports Jeopardy. I'm very proud of, uh, of that. A lot of fun. Yes, Paul. You said something to us before Sports Jeopardy. They said, you said to us, you know what? When those lights are on and everyone's around, you may freeze up a little bit because we all know sports. One of the hints was, and I rang in on it, and the answer was Camden Yards. Oh, no. It was basically where the Baltimore Orioles play. Yeah. One of the easier questions of the entire hint things. And I just sat there. I was like, I got nothing. I got nothing. And it's weird when you're looking at you and you're looking at the crowd and the lights, you just have a freeze-up moment. And I tell people that because inevitably somebody, if I'm running into a sports crowd, they'll go, you know, those questions on Sports Jeopardy are easy. And I'll go, oh, yeah, really? So you got two other people up there. Uh, you got that setting there. You got the big... It looks like left field at Fenway, the Green Monster. You got this wall of uh, categories there, and you got to try to beat everybody in and do it and get the right answer. It's Stu Gotts from uh, Levitard Show. He's like, I, hey, I, I'd kill anybody on there. And I said, All right, but you got to qualify. Like he wanted to get on the show, and I go, You got to qualify. Paula, you think you could take Stu Gotts? One on one or. Well, I'd have to have to throw somebody else in there. Yeah, I think I would have. Yeah, I think it takes two guys in Sports Jeopardy. Really? Yeah. I'd put, a, I'd put a grand on it. A grand on it? Yeah, for fun. He knows his sports. He's very fast. Very fast guy. But we've gotten a couple reps over there. Okay. Yeah, McLovin. I'm the king in real Jeopardy. I'm always playing at home along with Alex or with you in Sports Jeopardy. So uh, the do the question, and someone will answer it right after. I'm like, oh, yeah, I knew that one. Yeah. And I'll give myself the point, even though I didn't say it before the other guy. Oh, I, I'm going to give myself that one. It's so much easier at home on your couch. I get that with Trivial Pursuit when it's men against women at uh, the holidays at my house, and it gets there's vicious rules where you have to have the exact answer. So whenever the question goes out, the other side always goes, oh, it's so easy. And it's not, but everybody says the same thing. Oh, you're getting all the easy ones. And they're not easy. But all it is is just, all right, c come on, how long is it going to take here? You know, that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, Sports Jeopardy is a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, start shooting more episodes. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.